Hi, my name's Mai. I'm a trans woman that goes by she, her, and I'm a Diamond 1 Valorant player. I got into esports at a very young age where the grassroots were kind of being brought up. Back in my earlier days when I was a kid, I used to just mess around on Call of Duty and they kind of had a competitive scene going and I watched that a little bit and that kind of was the, the spark that got me to get into competitive gaming. And then I moved into different things that I tried out like Smash, CSGO. Eventually I found a home in Valor and just running in that game has been a very nice experience to especially be on a team for it as well. At first, I was kind of intimidated when I got invited to join the team because I'm just a timid person, I'm very anxious for the most part. But once I joined in, everyone was very welcoming and very nice to me and honestly, it's probably been the greatest thing that's happened to me for my Valorant career. I've learned so much. There's a huge difference between hopping into comp and solo queue and trying to rank up as opposed to playing scrims against other teams with a fully coordinated 5 stack of your own and it showed me a completely different side of Valorant that I need to be very aware of, and it's helped me improve my gameplay a lot, actually. So when it comes to being LGBTQ+, in competitive gaming, I guess the lightest way I could describe it is that it's kind of rough for the most part, but it's also very empowering at the same time. And since competitive gaming is honestly dominated a lot by cis men, it's been very hard to find representation for us. Trying to reach that level, being on a team and having to be that representation is... It's kind of a lot to weigh on when you think about it, but at the same time, it's like, it's actually really cool. And you are you realize that one step of you being there is that the next step is to bring other people in there. And hopefully we could get to a point where competitive gaming will have more of a diverse player base. My experience for being LGBTQ plus is I have known from a very early age that I was actually trans, but I never was able to stick a meaning to it because I was kind of trapped in a private school and kind of just controlled socially by my parents and my surroundings. So I never even knew what trans was until I got basically got out of high school and I started learning about it and I started connecting the dots with what I was feeling. And all of a sudden I really figured it out way late after high school and making that making this whole transition has been a big journey for me and there's just been so much to be a part of it there's a lot of struggles but there's a lot of progress that i make and it's it's very nice to see how far i've come considering where i've started from I know it's very intimidating, especially since a lot of us have some negative experiences with competitive gaming or just games with a lot of negative comms in general when it comes to either your sexuality or your gender. But at the same time, try not to be intimidated. Be open to the fact that there are actually nice people out there that are your ally and that will be nice to you. It comes from places you don't really expect and it's very nice when you have people who will stand with you and stand by you. There's actually still a lot of good people out there and honestly it's it's really nice to know that.